Hey guys, I am Rakesh from Coreplex back with another video. In this video, I am going to cover the review of the Core 3. That what we are learning in the Core 3. And every week I will be posting a video showing that what I have learnt in the Core 3 in a journey form. Before starting the review, I should answer a question that is asked by most of the people like whether to buy this quote or not. Like will it be worth it for them or not. So I should tell you that it will be definitely worth it for you because there are a lot of things that is going to be covered in the Core 3. Like uh, we are going to cover web dev from basic to advanced, uh, devops from basic to advanced and uh, web 3 also which is one of the leading technology in the industry that will also be get covered in this cohort 3. So apart from these things you are getting the additional classes, free classes of the ML, DSA classes and Android classes also. Apart from these things you are getting the TS uh, which will solve your queries on time and you will get uh, community like discord community where you can build your own network which will be very helpful for you to build your career you are getting all these things compiled at one place like uh, all these courses syllabus videos so you can you are getting all these things compiled at one place now also if you are not able to decide whether to take this cohort or not so you can see the reviews of the student that has already pursued the cohort to on different platforms and like uh, here also you can see the reviews of the student that has been already provided in on the video of the launching live web development plus devops plus web3 cohort like here some of the students had provided the reviews over the cohort 2 and cohort 3 like how eagerly they are waiting of the cohort 3 and i have only founded the two or three two or three students who are who had provided the bad reviews of this cohort apart from this like 90 percent of the student had provided the good reviews of this cohort so it will be definitely worth it for you Apart from these things, if you are not able to take the cohort due to any reason, like uh, due to pricing or anything, you can have the syllabus of the cohort 3 from the Harkira Sir website, which is of course free, and you can cover it from the internet also. Like uh, over the internet, there are a lot of resources which are of course uh, free of cost, and uh, it is not mandatory that you have to cover it from here only, then you will become a developer. You can cover it from anywhere else from the internet also. So, back to the video. This video is going to be the review of the week 1 of the cohort 3. So this video is going to be divided in the two parts uh, first of all like uh, the topics that we have covered in the web dev and the second that the topic that we have covered in the web 3. So first of all web dev topics like the topic that we, that we have covered in the web dev. So there is a first orientation class that has been organized by the Hargira sir which, in which he has set the base of the class like uh, who the beginner student what should the beginner student should do and what should the advanced student should do and the installation of the software and everything that is required to set the base of the core 3 and second installation of the installation i think the spelling is long installation installation of the vs code third is html 40 css and javascript 50 javascript basics and uh, a sort of advice has been given by the Harkira sir like uh, for the student divided into three parts like uh, complete beginner who are very who know the very basic uh, or like no coding before they have to be spend the 20 hours per week in this cohort like things will be hard you should spend the 20 hours per week at least on cohort material and the other content covering what we are doing in the cohort don't slack off second is intermediate don't uh, done basic of javascript html and some of the DSA part. So those students who have done all these things like basic things, they will feel that uh, cohort is a bit slow. So they will uh, leave the cohort. But uh, you have to be stick in the cohort. After the week 10, you will get something that will be differentiate that will differentiate you from the others. Like here is written, you should be for the first 10 week also. We see a major drop of further further first for the for the year only. For the first major project by achieving some glass after week 10 that is where you will learn things and differentiate you from the typical mon developer and third thing third is advanced like if you know the mon stack very well and you should participate in the cohort hackathons that will be done by the cohort 3 uh, feel free to drop it off for the first weeks i will see you on the github and participate in the super team hackathon air of gsoc in this year and uh, i have already 
we started looking at organization like this is uh, said by the architecture only like the topic that we have covered in the html are the div and span head body and the different types of heading tags fifth is the bold italic underline sixth is the a tag like anchor tag seventh is image tag eighth is input nine is button and tenth is br tag like uh, uh, apart from these things uh, other tags has been also covered in this week uh, you can see in the cohort also now the second part is css part in which we have covered the border radius border padding margin box shadow font size pad, positioning in the css like divs and span theory float property flexbox flexbox inside flexbox and difference between the margin and padding which is very confusing for the initial students like in the third part in the javascript basics of the javascript syntax of the javascript variables data types operators functions if else loops objects arrays and the arrays of the objects and objects of objects have been covered in the javascript and now in a web3 we have covered the why blockchains is needed like uh, what is need of web3 history of web3 and why blockchains we have studied why we are studying the blockchain basically how to create a new currency introduction to hashing binary conversion node.js code for generating sh like sh256 the algorithm which is used to uh, encrypt any any data introduction to proof of work blockchain demo bitcoin white paper introduction transactions timestamp proof of works network incentive these are the topics that have been covered in the web3 in week 1 and these are the topics that have been covered in week 1 in web dev so that's all for now in this video